surface area of a solid is a real simple concept. It refers to the sum of the areas of all the faces of the solid. And you do not need to memorize individual surface area formulas. Because okay? really, hopefully you already have the area formulas memorized. So here you're just going to combine them. You're going to take the sum of all the areas that are uh, on a given solid. And so if we look at a prism, Okay, so if we wanted to find the total surface area of this prism, the way that we would find it is we would take the sum of the areas of all the faces of this solid. So easiest thing to do is look to see how many bases do you have. For prisms and cylinders, what's that number going to be? Two. Okay, and then you're simply going to multiply or take the area of one of those bases and then double it. That will give you the total area of the bases. From there, you're going to take the area of the lateral faces. So in this particular figure, how many lateral faces will there be? Three. There's three. And remember, there's going to be one for each side of the base. Okay, so whatever shape your base is or classification your base is, that's the number of lateral faces you're going to add together. So if you wanted to find the total surface area for this shape, you're going to take two times the area of the base plus each of the lateral faces. Now, you have a couple different ways to find the lateral faces. Easiest thing is just to find the area of each one individually. So you have basically rectangle 1, rectangle 2, and rectangle 3. Just add them together, and you have your total sum. And so if you're looking at this, we have 2 times the area formula 1 half base times height, plus base times height, base times height, base times height. Now, are each of these going to be the same or different? Are these, do these refer to the same base and same height? No. Each of these will be different or unique equations. So the easiest thing to do is rather than try to sum everything up in one equation, just find each individual area. Once you find each of those individual areas, then just add them together. Okay, I'll go through examples of this uh, tomorrow. I just want to get through kind of the general uh, way that these relate to each other. Okay, let's look at a cylinder. And when we're talking about the area of a cylinder, once again, we have our two bases. Bases are parallel and congruent. And here we have one lateral face that is that curved rectangle. And so if we were to take a look at this formula, okay, so the surface area for a cylinder is 2 times B, the base. Well, what, what shape is the base of every cylinder? Circle, and the area formula for a circle is pi r squared. Okay, and then we need to add this curved rectangle. Now, there's only one curved rectangle. Okay, if we took this and we unrolled it, this measure is the height of our solid. And then this measure is the rotation about this circular base. What is that called? Circumference, which is equal to 2 pi r. So when you look at the area of this rectangle formed, you're basically looking at 2 pi r times h. Okay, so you can find a specific formula for the surface area of the cylinder. You, don't, you shouldn't need to memorize this. You should be able to identify it or derive it just from looking at the figure itself. 
And, but if you wanted to write it down, this is would be the general formula for the surface area of a cylinder. And let's take a look at a pyramid. Okay, so when you're looking at a pyramid, how many bases do you have? One single base. And how many lateral faces will you have? Four. Again, just like the prism, one for each side. Okay, these are not necessarily going to be uh, the exact same thing. So it's not like you're always just going to multiply the area of one triangle by four, but you're just going to take each individual triangle and add them together. So again, if we're looking at the surface area for this pyramid, we take our base area and then we'd add it to each of the triangles. And each one of those will be a different equation. So just like this. A different or unique equation. So just find the area for each individual piece and then add them all together. Okay, for a cone, don't worry about it. We're not going to do surface areas for cones, which leaves the last solid a sphere. And when you're looking at a sphere, your only measure that you're concerned with is the radius. And the surface area formula for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So there's another formula to be aware of. but you're just finding the surface areas as the sum of areas of all the faces of each solid. Okay. 